And back on the water for the Moomba Masters 2013, the women's jump final. Our opening competitor, Nancy Chardin. Well, we've seen an opening jump of 40.3. This is jump number two as she pushes hard into the base of the ramp. And that's a good looking jump at 43.2 metres, the distance coming through for Nancy Chardin. See on the replay, floating nicely through the air and pushing forward over those skis. Nicely done and 43.7 the distance. We move now to Lauren Morgan from the USA. Just a bit of an upper body crush, but a 48.2 there on jump number two. We missed her uh, first jump, but 48.2 puts her into the lead currently. Now we're into jump number three. Turns those skis through the wakes of the ski Nautique into the base of the ramp. She gets a lift and the float off the top. Oh, that's a nice third jump there from Lauren Morgan, 50.4 metres. And looking at the uh, replay here, look how she pushes forward through the air. Great float. That was a marvellous third jump there and the best for the day at 50.4. OK, I'm here with the United States, Lauren Pucci Morgan. You just jumped 50.4. What was going through your mind out there? Um, in the previous rounds, I was super early, so I just said to myself from the beginning, bring it down, and it worked, so happy. <laughs> yeah, the first two, they look like the money cuts, just couldn't get your legs, and the last one, booting it, must have felt good. Yeah, it felt great. I'm so excited. It's the farthest I've ever gone here, so pretty excited. Thanks, Poochie. Thanks. Now, Whitney McClintock from Canada pushes in hard into the base of the ramp. A rather tall girl and extends nicely off the top. Just lost a little bit of kick though. 44.4, well that'll be her longest of the set. Disappointment there for Whitney. You go to the replay, she just slid a little back onto her heels and that's gonna be costly as far as the distance goes and she'll have to come back next year. Okay, so we move now to Finland. Jutalami coming in for jump number one. Let's see what she can do here. The Moomba Masters gets the lift and the float through the air on the first, and that's a nice opening jump, and she takes the lead with a 50.8. Nice start here from the young Finnish girl. Now look, jump number two wants to put a big score on the board here on the second jump. Edges through the wakes of the Nordic. She gets the lift and the float through the air. Jutalami from Finland, 52.3 on her second jump. So nice jumping out here from the superstar. As we go to replay, gets the angle on the drive through the ramp, gets the lift off the top, beautiful float through the air, and a 52.3. That is her longest distance of the day. It's my first time at Moomba, and I couldn't believe that I was able to boost the 50.8 on the first one, and then after the second round, I was just so excited. Yeah, it certainly looks like you're used to the conditions. Hope to see you back here next year. Thank you so much. <laughs> Now we go to the second jump of Marion Matthew from France. Well, these ladies are really going all out today and Marion pushes through. Oh, some fantastic lift on that jump and beautiful air form, 50.8 metres. Well, Marion should be pretty happy with that jump as we go to replay and through the air and just presses forward over the top. That will be her longest for the day and we caught up with her on the dock. Getting a hold of a 50.8, how did you find it out there? Uh, it's pretty, I mean, it's really nice to jump out there. I struggle a little bit from my way to the ramp, so I was a bit disappointed, but like, it's really nice and we have like really good weather all weekend, so we're super lucky. So as we move now to the only Australian in this women's jump final is Jacinto Carroll from Geelong here in Victoria. Beautiful opening jump, gets the float through the air, 50.8 metres. So a nice start here from the superstar from Australia, Jacinta Carroll. Needs to put a big jump here. Jump of 49.6 on jump number two, but we pick it up with jump number three, edges into the base, just sits back on jump number three, and it is a 51.2, so not enough to take home the silverware here at the Moomba Masters. We go to replay, just through the wakes of the Nautique, edges into the base, just set back a little bit on her heels, and the skis come out in front of her, so just couldn't control them through the air. As uh, Jacinta Carroll, 51.2, looks very disappointed there. As she heads back to the dock, the youngster from Australia. And as we live a shell shock, Jacinta Carroll, we go to the results board. Third place, Marion Matthew. Jacinta Carroll slotting into second. And in first place from Finland, Yutalami. 
So we move on now to the men's jump final, the all exciting men's jump final, and of course our first competitor on the water, Damien Sharman from Great Britain. Let's see what he can do here. Jump number one, looks good. Edges through the wakes of the Nautique, into the base of the ramp, gets a lift and a float off the top. A beautiful opening jump there. Damien Sharman, 63.9 metres, a beautiful start here. As he edges into the base, you see him get the extension and the float and the lift off the top. Goes a long way down the Yarra River. And that's his longest jump of the day. Now Ryan Green from Australia opened with a 49-2. This is his second jump. The whipping effect as he angles his way into the ramp. 23.5 metres the tail line and he stretches every inch of it at 60.1 metres his second and longest jump. And we go to Ryan on the dock. Yeah, conditions looking great out there. 60.1. Has he in second place at the moment? Do you think you'll get a podium? Nah, I don't think so. Um, I'm a bit of a realist, and uh, not that I jump bad, I actually jump quite good for my, you know, for my own jumping. But these guys that are coming out behind me are, are going to fly; they're going to go far. So as we pick up the action back from Germany, Bojan Schipner had a first jump of 56.4, edges into the base on number two, 59.8 there on number two. Not enough to put him through onto the podium. Now to Russia, Igor Morozov, his opening jump. Starts a little bit narrow, he's got a lot of power, this guy. Boots the jump off the top there, angles forward, and that's his first, and it's 58.7 metres, and that'll be his longest. So we move on now to our next competitor from the USA. It is Scott the Rocket Man Ellis on jump number two. See what he can do. Into the base of the ramp, gets the lift and the float off the top. A beautiful start there from Scotty Ellis. 62.4 metres on jump number two. And that puts him into the lead. Here we go on jump number three. Edges through the waist, into the bottom. Gets the speed, the lift and the float. And he's improved on jump number three. 64.2 metres for Scott the Rocket Man Ellis. Now Ryan Dodd from Canada, opening jump of three, turns, lots of power and miles of speed for the Canadian, and flies through the air, great opening jump there, 63.2, not enough to take the lead, but we have the leader on the dock with Josh Lauder. I'm here with Scott the Rocketman Ellis, he's just gone 64.2 on his final jump, how did you feel out there? I felt really good, I was, I was good and dialed in. I uh, wanted my distances a little bit further. I'd rather open up with a 64. I think it's going to take a 66 or 7 to win. Um, but I'm not as useful as I used to be. And, but I, I enjoy coming here. I love it. I'm happy with the 64.4. It felt good. I floated in the air. So that's what it's about. Now Ryan Dodd's second. Can he move it up a little? He needs to. This looks like a perfect setup and a beautiful extension from the top of the ramp for Ryan Dodd. Oh, and 64.9 moves himself into the lead. Ryan Dodd from Canada. Here we move from Canada all the way to Chile. And it is Rodrigo Miranda edging into the base of the ramp, gets the lift and the float off the top. Is it going to be enough to knock off Ryan Dodd? It's 61.9 there on jump number three. We go to replay, looks, gets the angle, creates that whip effect into the base of the ramp, gets the lift and the extension off the top. Jump number three for Rodrigo Miranda from Chile, 61.9. Not enough to put him onto the podium here at the Moomba Masters. Now we go to Freddy Krueger from the USA. Well, he's the reigning world champion, the reigning record holder. Oh, and Mr. Consistent. Freddy Krueger, good opening jump, but gee, I don't know if it's going to be far enough. It's 64.7. Well, it's just two, a point two of a metre shy. But we go to replay from Freddy. This looks like a perfect setup. He's pushing hard. He started from an extremely wide position. He's using every inch of that toe line. He extends beautifully through the air, but just not far enough to take the lead. Well, he still has another two jumps to come. Eyes off the ramp. That power into the bottom. Oh, he's right ski sledder coming off the ramp. Just spread a little and lost some distance. So that's cost him power. 60.2 for Freddy Krueger. So as we go to replay, here we see Freddy Krueger creating that angle of those skis. Just couldn't quite get off the top of the ramp. So he only has one jump to come here if he wants to take home the Moomba title here for 2013. 
Well, so often he delivers the goods on the third, but can he do it this time? And Freddie Krieger, oh, that's awesome lift. Oh, and he's flown through the air above the Yarran. 67.6, our Moomba Masters champion for 2013, Freddie Krueger. Yeah, and what a nice jump it was, Rob. Look at the angle he creates. He just generates so much speed through the wakes of the Nautique, edges into the base, gets the lift and float and extension off the top, and a beautiful 67.6 metre jump from Freddy Krueger. What a performance here on the air, and we had a bit of a chat to him on the dock. Okay, I'm down here with Freddy, the Nightmare Krueger. He's just come in 67.6. How was it out there? Uh, you know, those were the best conditions we had uh, all weekend. And, uh, you know, Damien set the bar right off and uh, kind of gave us the wake-up call. And I think, you know, some of the ups and downs you saw from the guys was just how hard we were all going. Uh, there was a little more current than I expected, and you add that just that little bit of headwind, we were really shutting down quick. So that last one, I finally had my speed up where I wanted to be. And, you know, it's, I kind of said to myself in the hole, I'm not flying all the way back to America wondering why I didn't go late enough on the six. So I really pushed it in. It shut me down just perfect, so I had a great cut. As we see the results, some North American domination. Third place, Scott Ellis from the USA, Ryan Dodd from Canada in second, and an extremely elated Freddy Krueger taking out the men's jump final. Now the men's wakeboarding final. First competitor from the US, Trevor Hansen. And joining me in commentary, Stu Wilson. Yes, uh, Trevor Hansen stunned things off there with a melon roll to blind. Nice and big and very smooth there from Trevor Hansen. Trick number two, a Pete Rose. Looking good. This is a great start. That is a melon backside five from Trevor Hansen there. And uh, coming in for this fourth trick, it looks like a toe side 720 and unfortunately coming a little unstuck and going for a swim on that one. Now, Stu, we pick up the second pass of Daniel Powers from the US. Daniel Powers, one of the most exciting young riders, also starting off with that melon roll to blind there from Daniel. Second trick now, and there's a toe side 900, but uh, unfortunately not quite finishing that one off quite the way he'd want to. Now to Japan and Shota Tezuka. Shota uh, starting this off uh, nice and wide here and uh, a very technical trick in that tail grab KGB for Shota Tezuka. Oh, that's a very, very stylish off-axis backside 180 degree spin there from Shota. Heel side 720 there from Shota. This is a great first pass, about as clean as you could possibly ask for. Toe side 900, that's the first 900 we've seen in these finals. That's a Moby Dick grabbing that board, Melon all the way around there, and a Tootsie Roll from Shota Tezuka to finish his first pass. Well, Stu, that really shows uh, what spending a bit of time in Florida can do with Harley Clifford, because Shota Tezuka really showing some great style. Yes, Rob, and starting things off with this second pass, and that was a Crow 5, the first Moab 5, and there's another one. That was a front Moab 5 there from Shota for trick number two, and that is a huge hillside 540 degree spin, landing all the way out into the flats, and uh, a whirly 540 there from Shota, taking a massive fall there at the end. Well, things are really getting interesting in this six-man final as we go to Mike Dowdy from the USA. Yeah, well, there's the Crow 5 there from Mike Dowdy. Starting things off just as Shota had finished his run. Now, Mike, one of the most exciting young riders there, a heel side, back side, 720-degree spin for Mike Dowdy. This is a great start here. Toe side 900 there from Mike Dowdy. That's the second 900 we've seen in the final. What great riding and a tail grab KGB. Now I think we might be looking for something special here. Mike Dowdy cutting a long way out. And yes, it's the double flip, a mute double half cab roll from Mike Dowdy, but uh, unfortunately not getting the landing. Well, that's something we've uh, certainly got to have a look at again here. The mute double half cab roll, a trick made famous for Parks Bonifay, but I believe that could be the first time in competition. Now we move to a guy that on form is the world's best, Australia's Harley Clifford. 
Yeah, starting things off with a backside 720 there from Harley Clifford. Straight back into a 900. This is a great, great start here from the young gun from Australia. Third trick now, a heel side 720. Grabbing that board melon all the way round too. That's the Crow 5 there from uh, Harley Clifford grabbing the board nose. And how's he going to finish this uh, first pass? Oh, it is a back mobe 540 there. Great first pass from Harley. Okay, pass number two here, and that is a nose grab blind Pete there from Harley Clifford. That's the first time we've seen that trick down here at Moomba Masters. A front mob 540 there from Harley. That's the third mob 5 that we've seen from this young gun. Third trick now, and that is the Pete Rose. About as clean as you could possibly ask for. Maybe time for a couple of tricks, a couple more tricks here from Harley. A tail grab, roll to blind, but unfortunately, going for a swim. Now our final competitor coming up in men's wakeboard final. A young guy who's really starting to push it up to the top echelons in the world of wakeboarding, none other than Tony Iaconi from Australia. Yes, Tony Iaconi recently crowned the national champion, and uh, you can see why right there, starting things off with that tail grab KGB. A nose grab Chromo 540 there from Tony Iaconi for trick number two. A switch stance 900 there from Tony, only just riding away with that one, but no falls yet for this young gun. That is the front mob 540 there from Tony Iaconi, and a backside 360 degree spin, finishing off pass number one. Okay, coming back, pass number two here for Tony. Coming in heel side, and we've started that off with a 720 degree spin. Nice and big, and nice and clean from Tony. Trick number two, a backside 540. One of the hardest spins that you'll see down here today. And trick number three, we have a new trick actually. That is a tail front blind mob. Unfortunately, going for a swim there from Tony. We'll uh, take another look at this uh, blind mob there from Tony. As you can see, grabbing that board on the tail, throwing a front flip with a backside 360. Unfortunately, missing that handle and going for a swim. Okay, on the water with Tony Iconi, and there it is. There's that tail grab front blind mob and finishing things off with an indie tantrum to blind. Great run from young Tony Iconi. And as results come to hand, Shota Tezuka from Japan in third position. Second place, Tony Iaconi from Australia. And our winner, Harley Clifford from Australia. There's the boys at the presentation, all looking mighty happy. When we also have the girls receiving their awards. Of course, Erica Lang taking home the tricks. We had Whitney McClintock from Canada taking home the slalom. And Yuta Lamy from Finland taking home the jump. And of course, the overall title this year at the Moomba Masters going to Whitney McClintock from Canada. And our guys looking very happy indeed. Herman Baliaku, our tricks winner with Josh Bryant and Ryan Green. And of course, Chris Parrish, our slalom champion for 2013. And Freddy Krueger, the guy who once again prevailed at the Moomba Masters. And our overall winner, Adam Settlemeyer from the Czech Republic. That's it for the Moomba Masters 2013. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you next year.